Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome on the September 13th. How's everybody doing? Good to see you. Donna, good to see you. Mark, good to see you. Ken, Andrea, Benito, good to see you. Judy, everybody. All right. Look at everyone here bright and early. Look at that. It's great to see now more and more people starting to wake up and starting to realize it's like going to the gym. It's like, I, I, you know what? If this is your career, you got to wake up in the morning and you have to get into it because most of the action where we make most of our money is about 30 minutes ago. So that's why we do it at 9 o'clock. I know it's kind of tough for some of you West Coast uh, fellow traders, but listen, what it is, what it is. And it's just great to see that more and more of you starting to realize like, you know what? Tomorrow's another day. This time I'm going to make a commitment. I'm going to set my alarm clock and you're there. So it's great to see you guys. All right. So anyway, a um, couple of stocks that are moving, and we're going to talk about a couple of things that are moving. First of all, I mean the TLRY, guys. So listen, I was just reading an article on it. And um, I mean, listen, it's, it's a great pot stock. And we all hear these stories about people making a lot of money on the pot stocks. Uh, but I, uh, I've read a, a very interesting article about this stock. And we're going to talk about it in a little bit later. But overall, look how beautiful that is. I mean – but listen, the funny part is this. Were we not here before? Were we not here trading a stock like this in the past, like Elfin and, and, and Bitcoin and and and, uh, and DRYS? They're there all the time. So you always get people like, oh, is this a, a fluke? You know what? We get one of these like once a month. But um, but you know, obviously this one's not stopping, so which is pretty great. Anyway, let's go over and talk about what happened yesterday because there were a couple of really good stocks I want to talk about. And a few people did really, really well yesterday. So I want to do a couple of shout outs, which is what we always do in the morning. First of all, on um, the easy short was the Twitter trade. Let me just bring that up really quick so you can see what happened. And let me fix my little timeline right here. There we go. All right. So Twitter, you could see it was a great, great short. Very easy. You could see, you know, a lot of people always ask and like, is this a full time job? Is it? No, listen, you know, we only work about an hour a day. You know, it's just waking up in the morning and do it because if you miss that rally, that's it. So anyway, well, technically it wasn't a rally. It was a nice little crash. But you can see 38 to 29, 40, not a lot of money. But, you know, it was pretty good. We did pretty well. The AMD, I mean, this thing has just been a fun stock. And AMD just will not stop. AMD is just on fire. Um, it's been one of our great, great swing trades. It's still going to be on the Fausto watch list, uh, the AMD. You know, and, and not only was it a good date uh, swing trade for us, uh, but it's been a great, great day trade. Look at that. It's already at 32. It just doesn't want to stop. Just a great story what happened with it. Stock's doing really, really well. All right, so AMD is doing great. Um, Snap, you know, I talked about this yesterday. Snap, um, you know, listen, we, it was this was also a really, really nice short. Unfortunately, some of this, uh, the stock, because it's pretty new, it might not have been on your short list. But I told you, when this stock broke uh, its um, IPO price, that's it. Bye-bye. So anyway, um, it had a little bit of comeback around 11 o'clock. But overall, right at the gate, what a great short. This was, like, so easy. We saw this thing in the pre-market. You could see there right here in the pre-market, just breaking lower lows. And, you know, and listen, we talk about this. People are like, well, how did you know it was going to drop? How did you know it was like, listen, that is why you need to be in classroom. We talk about this all day long. Can't I can't teach you how to trade in a morning meeting. You've got to be in class. We cover that. And you know what? A lot of you guys nailed that pretty nicely. So congratulations. You guys did pretty well on that. A couple of the stocks. I told you, yesterday I was so excited. I knew we were going to make a lot of money yesterday. Um, IQ did pretty well. That was one of our great swing trades. She popped also. She's starting to come back a little bit strong. You know, I'm going to put IQ back on my watch list. And that obviously with IQ, the HY, uh, H-U-Y-A, trade side by side with it. And you can see that one's up a little bit nicely. Trade side by side. This one's a little nasty, though. This one trades a little bit faster. All right. So that one also did pretty well. Uh, what There was a big runner in the NM a DR that we did trade yesterday. I want to bring that up. That one was probably the cheap one where a lot of you pretty much – Call the quits just on that one. So 240 to, to 380, that one did really well. Um, you know, and you know, a lot of people did pretty well. A couple of shout outs, but I want to talk about the big winner who did really well. Dave, uh, Dave G, he made he made did really well yesterday. He made three bucks yesterday. Um, for what I see, he probably was probably the biggest winner points wise. Let's give him a round of applause. All right, good for you. A couple of you guys did pretty well, but that was a really, really nice little pop right there. 
All right. Now let's talk about what's moving this morning because there are a lot of good stocks moving this morning. I can see some of you are already like nailing it. Uh, first of all, um, the stock yesterday, I want to keep an eye on it too, is Pandora. Pandora, we traded yesterday. I told you at major resistance levels right around 10. Uh, this stock has been doing quite well actually, but uh, but you got to trade a lot of shares of the stock. But it had major, major, major resistance levels. There was a big iceberg order out there. Guys were dumping it. You got to cover you, and the only way Way to know that is that the time in sales lets us know if those guys get done. Once it breaks through that brick uh, wall, which I, was like almost like a thick foundation, uh, sure enough, looks like and it looks like it's getting there. So Pandora is going to be on the watch list, a little cheap, little stock. All right, so let's talk about the big news that's going on right now. What is the big news? The hurricane. Okay, so please, guys, fellow traders, if you're anywhere within that area, if you're home and you're trying to play Superman, you know, don't be super stupid. All right, just get out of the way. I've lived through Hurricane Sandy, you know. And, uh, you know, thank I was on high ground, so it wasn't that bad with the winds. But get out of the way. Now, the next question people ask around the world is like, okay, well, how does that affect me? Okay. Well, like Hurricane um, Harvey, with what happened in Texas, and a lot of you guys know about it. I, I, you know, we all could, we all weathered and dealt with some somewhere in our, in our lifetime with a hurricane. But who actually? How do you benefit from it as a trader? Well, listen, I remember back then, Home Depot killed it, killed it. What do people do? The first thing they do, you gotta build. There's a lot of homes out there that gotta be built. Unfortunately, you know, you know, it's it's horrible to say you might, you know, a lot of these people are gonna might lose their homes. I've seen it. I've lived through it. I've seen what had happened. And you know what? here on Long Island, people are still trying to build. They're lifting all these homes. Construction is out of this world. People made so much money, you know, uh, regarding about construction. And you obviously in Texas, we think it's going to happen in Carolina. So who's going to benefit? Home Depot, Lowe's. Guys, look what happened to Home Depot the last couple of days, okay? Home Depot just basically took off, went to 205 to 215. Now, I told you this, that Andrew Keene's going to be coming here for our on-site, and he's going to talk about how to trade options. And you know I'm not a fan of trading a $200 stock, but there is something you could do on a short-term play, you know, not tie up your buying power for day trading, doing options, and he's going to teach you that. So hopefully a lot of you guys are going to be here for the on-site. Uh, that's going to be in October. So he's going to be doing a great class that's customized specifically for us day traders and how to sub, uh, uh, substitute it down the road uh, with an option. Remember – Option is your last, you know, um, last uh, option, not your first, you know, and uh, we're going to talk about that. But anyway, that one and Lowe's, obviously, all in the, you know, in that realm. And Lowe's actually been really well. It gapped up pretty nice, but you could see it. They're all doing really, really well. Um, Deborah says, I wish I could be there next year, though. Well, like I said, listen, Deborah. If you can make it, make it. You know what? We have a great time. We're gonna we're gonna eat good. You know I'm a big I'm, I'm a big chef, so I have one of the big celebrity chefs, one of the top chefs in the country is gonna be cooking for us. And uh, but we have some great drinks, I have great stories, but more importantly, we're gonna trade together and try to be there if you can. Remember, it's not a long event. All right, it's three days. All right, a couple of other stocks I do want to hit. Obviously, the TLRY. Just want to touch upon that. Okay, what was the what was what did I read about the TRLY? I was reading an article. They said this is probably the next Bitcoin. All right, what happened to Bitcoin? Thing took off, went up crazy. What ended up happening? It crashed. Good story. You know, you're hearing about on TV. You know, obviously supply and demand. So uh, that always affected. A lot of people missed the. the the, the, the pot stock rally in some penny stocks. But when you have a NASDAQ stock like this, you know, listen, it's a lot of money. You know, I bought it. I did really well on it. I just kicked myself in the butt because I sold it too soon because um, when it backed off over there from 100 down to 75, I got out of it. But you know what? I made money. That's all that matters. And I've lived through stocks like this before. Listen, this stock can go right back down to 20. You know, you know, so that's why this is not like you're going to say, oh, it's an investment. Listen, can it go to a thousand? If anything could happen. Now, Amazon did, you know, but sure enough, Elfin, you know, what happened with that one? 110 to 140. Where is it still halted? It's delisted. You know, they're there all the time. So anyway, be very careful with this stock. I don't trust any one of them, you know, even my worst enemy. Another stock that's moving pretty nice this morning, CA, um, CARA. Uh, this stock you can see is up 6%. Not the greatest of iceberg waters, but she's moving pretty well. She's testing some resistance levels uh, back in July, so this one's going to make the watch list. 
Everybody remembers this one. Okay, guess what? Mankind. Mankind came up on my radar. Cheap little stock. You guys remember we traded this not too long ago, about a month ago. It went from a buck sixty to three twenty. Another short squeeze. Cheap little stock. Put it on your radar, guys. We did really well. Pandora already talked about. Um, we already know about that one. GNC, a lot of you already been trading this in pre-market. GNC is doing pretty um, – has a nice little move. Uh, where is it? Did it move? At, how much did it move? Yeah, it's got, a little, it's got some action. It's got some good volatility. I don't know what happened, but it's gapped up about – it's up about 16% already, 300,000 shares. I know a lot of you guys are doing pretty well. Benito says he's trading the Gurn. I didn't get to the Gurn yet, but it is on my watch list, Ben. Um, so I got GNC. Okay, I got Lowe's, AMD, IQ, and then Gurn. Big list, guys. Big list. Okay, so Gurn I made my watch list also. Um, ben already made pretty well. He already made 20 cents on that. Let's give him a round of applause. Way to go, Ben. All right, this is that's what it is. All about pre-market. Six dollars to seven twenty. Perfect stock. We know the stock very well. We traded it back in April. Went from two dollars to six fifty. Looks like it's doing really well. So anyway, listen. There is a very big, big list to trade today. A lot of news. A lot of action. Today is Thursday, which is Thursday is Hump Day. Remember, tomorrow's Friday. When things start slowing down a little bit, but um, but listen, guys. I, you know, I always tell everybody. Think of you starting a diet. Think of you starting a, you know, going to the gym. Think of you, you know, starting to take care of your health or you want to get into it. I know it's kind of hard. People like, you know, you, you feel uncomfortable. You meet some people. You want to be like, you know, you want to like work your way into it. I get it. You know what? You want to learn how to get into it? Trade one share of the stock. There's a lot of stocks out here. If you don't trade, you're never going to learn how to make money. OK, you could, you know, it's like going to the gym. It's like, you know, I remember I used to bench press 200 pounds. You know what? Bench press five pounds. OK, don't be embarrassed. You know, just go out there and just trade one share of the stock. You'll never learn sitting there watching indicators, reading books. They don't make you money because they don't talk back to you. You know how you learn? By losing money. That's how you learn because you won't do it again. So, guys, go out there and trade. Do whatever it is. There's a lot of stocks out there to move. You're in here in the cyber group room. Look, listen, and learn. Watch the students that we've trained. See how well they do because, remember, it's not for everyone. It should be for everyone, but it's not. See if they make money. If you like it, we'll go from there. And, by the way, today at 12 o'clock, we're doing another new open house. So, call your friends. Invite them in there. Let's see if we can recruit some more people to the family. And, like I said, if they qualify, we'll make them part of it. If not, you know, like I said, that what is what it is good luck everyone happy trading and i'll see you back at 12 o'clock for the uh the open house and i'll see you back at 2 30 for the afternoon meeting good luck everyone happy trading